Welcome back to the channel, y'all. Um, I'm happy that you all are joining me today. Uh, today I have a little something different. Um, straight from Japan, uh, we have Alpha on the bench today. And um, I've become a really big fan of Alpha's utility knives. Um, they actually invented the uh, snap-off knives. So any snap-off knives you see today, um, Alpha is the one that invented that. And it's a company based out of Japan. All the products are made in Japan. and um, I'm sure you know as well as just about anybody else, uh, the Japanese make fantastic quality tools. I'm a huge fan of uh, Japanese manufacturing. And uh, these are just a couple of uh, different tools I wanted to bring you all. Um, and, uh, you know, hopefully um, you find use out of them as well if you have them. And if you don't have them, hopefully it makes you, you know, maybe consider giving off a chance. All right, so the first tool that I wanted to uh, kind of get into is this this scraper. The cool thing about this little scraper is is that it uses these little these little blades. And if I kind of line that blade up, if I turn it straight like vertically, the blade disappears. I mean, that's how thin this blade is. If you can see, it is super thin. And uh, another cool thing about it is is it comes with this. Um, uh, onboard storage for additional blades and you can even store uh, extra blades in there but it has this little lid that opens up and um, this in particular came with six blades and you can see how that's two blades actually right there uh, that's why it looks much thicker actually that's three blades that's how thick three blades are so uh, the blades are really thin, comes with extra blades. They're super, super sharp. Uh, so you have to be really, really careful. And they have, um, of course, some rust protectant on there. Now, the way you um, change the blade out is really simple and intuitive as well. So really all you have to do is you just unscrew this little knob here and this slides backwards. And it's just as easy as that. You just pop the blade out and it has these little, these little grooves here where um, it matches up with these little uh, knots or these little uh, points here to keep the blade secure. And what you do is, is you just simply lay the blade on there and this has a, a hook underneath it. And if I flip it over, you can see where the hook goes. It just slides right in there and you tighten her down and you're good to go. And the reason why I like this so much is because how thin the blade is. Um, you can really peel up stuff very easy, just like this piece of painter's tape. I mean, painter's tape isn't hard to take off, but just for demonstration purposes, it gets right up under the adhesive, the tape, everything, and it just it works like a charm. And what I use this a lot for is, is I get uh, wood glue on top of my bench and this comes in um, in handy scraping that off and it also comes in handy scraping off glue joints as well and where the blade is so thin it doesn't leave nearly as much damage as one of those scrapers that you would normally see uh, people using or even a chisel um, so this is uh this is a fantastic tool if you haven't seen it or heard of it um, I think they have it on Lowe's website as a utility scraper, maybe. Um, but it, it's just a scraper and it has, uh, comes with six additional blades. The only downside, of course, to uh, the scraper is, is that there's nothing, there's no cap to put over the, the exposed blade. So if you want to kind of store it or uh, put it away, what you'd have to do is, is you'd either have to take this and flip it the other way because it's only one-sided and put it like that. And you can even use this side as kind of like a blunt scraper uh, or you could just put it back into the um, uh, the storage box uh, that's on board. Uh, so you can store it, you can put it away, um, but it doesn't have like a cap where you can quickly cover it up. But like I said, this, this little scraper has been absolutely awesome and uh, I'm really liking it. It's really coming in handy for several things that I didn't know I would even use it for. Another favorite tool of mine from Alpha um, is this Alpha H1. It's actually a utility uh, pull saw. So if we extend it all the way, 
it becomes basically a Japanese pool saw. Um, and I carry this on me every day because there's always times where I'm actually trying to trim a small piece of wood. Um, and this works out really handy. And even if you're just trying to, uh, say you're working with dowels, flush cutting dowels with this is uh, super easy, as you can see. And a Japanese pool saw is absolutely amazing. No matter what, with any kind of flush saw, you're going to get a little some marks unless you put something under it um, to kind of put some distance between the blade and actually setting it on top of the wood. Um, but it works like a charm for flush cutting, um, and it's even stiff enough to where you can actually saw wood if you need to. It just rips through just about any type of wood you're going to run across. It does cross cutting as well as doing um, ripping, rip cuts, where you're, where you're ripping from uh, the top down. And it actually rips quite easily. Um, the teeth on this saw are their induction hardened. And another good thing about this is, is if you need to, that something happens to your blade, you ding it up or something, you can replace it very easily. Um, traditionally, what I've actually used as a pull saw or a flush cut saw, something like this. And you have no way of retracting this, you know, and if you have it in your bags, it's just kind of sitting there with all your other tools. The teeth are getting banged up. You know, as you can see, the teeth are exposed uh, to all sorts of the elements and, and getting rusted and that's probably also from you know cutting uh, dowels that have wood glue on them but with this saw the way it retracts like that you know you can keep your blade protected i'll be honest with you this thing has been absolutely amazing and if you've never seen this before i highly recommend you giving this a try it's not super expensive i think it's around maybe 20 bucks um if that uh, you can get it on Amazon, of course, and all the blades are uh, made in Japan. Um, it, this is just amazing. This has really been an awesome tool, and uh, it's something that I wanted to kind of bring to your all's attention. Um, it doesn't matter what trade you're in unless you're, you know, a, a diesel mechanic. You, you know, if you're a plumber, an electrician, a uh, carpenter, finished carpentry, you're going to be working around wood and having the ability to make quick cuts and not having to get, you know, a saw out or, you know, a jigsaw or whatever. If you just need to just quickly cut off, um, you know, a small piece of wood, this comes in handy and it doesn't take up a whole lot of space. I mean, look at it compared to this, you know, and you can just slot it down in your bag. It's good and secure. The teeth are going to be protected. This has been absolutely amazing. And if you don't have one of these, I highly recommend you look into it if you're a woodworker, if you're in finished carpentry, if you're a carpenter, if you're a plumber, electrician, I would highly recommend looking into this and seeing if it could be useful to you. So just a quick disclosure, um, Ulfa, they didn't provide me uh, any of these tools. Matter of fact, they've never given me any free tools, actually. Um, I just thought these two tools, um, they've come in handy for me. And I, if they come in handy for me, I would imagine that they would probably come in handy for a lot of other people as well. Uh, they do a phenomenal job over there. If they want to give me free tools, they're welcome to it, but they don't. Um, but uh, that's all I have for you guys today. I appreciate you all stopping by. Um, if you want to support the channel, the affiliate link for KC Tool is in the description below. You're not going to be able to find these tools there, but other tools that I, I've reviewed, you know, some of the Knipex, Wear tools, Weha tools, you can get all that stuff uh, on KC Tool. And a like and a subscribe go a long, long way. Uh, the channel is growing rapidly, and I appreciate everyone who supported me. So thank you guys so much. I'll see you next time. Peace.